today I'm going to talk about the very basics of character control. Things like walking forward, back, running, uh, turning, stopping, the very basic things. And here you have the character. This is something that I just picked up in the asset store. I don't even know if I'm going to use this in the actual game, but this is just an example. And you can walk forward, back, uh, run, turn, come to a stop. In case with running, I always like to have a bit of realism in terms of physics, so that when you have a bit of momentum, it takes about 0.5 seconds for you to turn or, or come to a stop. It takes a certain animation for you to be able to do that. Uh, I do have an excep exception in case with idle and walking. Uh, when, when you're just idle, you, you can turn 180 degrees almost instantly. That is just an exception because I like to, you have to draw the line somewhere. Uh, you, while it's nice to have realistic physics, when you have too much of it, it just gets in the way of your gameplay. So there's always going to be a balance for, for any games between what is 100% realistic, which is one extreme end, and you also have the other extreme end where it's superheroes flying around everywhere. Uh, for me, I just like to do the stuff that I like personally, and this is the line that I chose to draw. And you can do stupid things like, you know, but every game designer is different. It's just a matter of where you put down your foot. And here we have a simple state machine. As you can see, we're going from idle to run to stop. Uh, basically, in order for you to reach a certain action, you, you have to take a certain path. It's not like you can just go from full speed running to uh, a complete stop idle animation. You just can't do that. That just goes against basic physics. Today's stuff is mostly code. I mean, all this is based on a bunch of code that I wrote. And sharing code can be really boring, so I just like to talk in general terms. You can look at the GitHub page if if you're interested, but I don't think anybody's going to do that. But anyways, in order to make this a little more interesting, I plan to have enemies as well, uh, a, a bit of an interaction. The enemies are going to have the exact same model, the same mechanism, except it's going to be controlled by AI instead of me controlling it through a keyboard. That pretty much should be the only difference. Later on, I might have other stuff like attacking, jumping, uh, basic interactions, and and all sorts of other game me mechanics. And, and later, I'll put them together, and hopefully we'll have something that actually looks like a game. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.